Greetings and salutations. It is I, Mr. Nothing, the museum curator of the weird and the strange and the host who might be a ghost. Welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all manner of strange and unusual literature that I have found in my travels. Today I am not talking about a specific book, but rather I am doing my my um, my usual end of the month um, wrap up, and I'm combining it this month with my TBR, my TV Red. Um, I'm doing that because you know I just started um, uh, this. Um, I just started this month, so I don't think I really need to do a an entire uh, two videos for that. Um, maybe next month I will. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll see about that. So uh, start first with the wrap up, follow that by the TV Red. What I'm going to be reading over the course of the next month. So here we go. So what did I do in the course of May? Well, I started this channel. I, um, I, yep, I, I started this channel um, back in early May. I don't ex I exactly remember the exact date, but I started it and that was fun. I, I started and I started commenting on other uh, people's videos um, under this new channel. I've been commenting under my other channel or other channel, um, my, my, uh, a Gmail account, um, uh, but I wanted to use a specific one for this channel. So, uh, yeah, uh, I started the channel. Um, I've been uh, talking with other people, uh, communicating with um, uh, bits of lit, um, making making some friends, and um, gaining a few subscribers. So I'm just happy to be able to talk to people about, uh, about books. Um, as for how this uh, this channel is going to go in the near future. Um, as it pertains to my TV Red, like uh, uh, what I hope to do is make three videos a week, maybe more if I'm doing a, um, a challenge or uh, a tag video or something like that, uh, where uh, one video a week will be dedicated to a book that I've read. It can be a short story or anything like that. It, um, it doesn't have to be a specific. It could be a graphic novel. It could be um, just something that I read. Um, then on Tuesdays, it's uh, Short Story Tuesdays, so I want to make a video dedicated just to um, short stories. And then uh, on Thursday, it's Poetry Thursday. Uh, got love to talk about that poetry, so a specific day devoted to that. Um, yeah, and it should be three videos from here on out, um, unless something changes, so be on the lookout for that. Um, as for my wrap-up, so what have I read this uh, over the course of this month? Um, it's been quite a lot. Uh, one of the first things that I read has been um, Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. I didn't um, review it for this channel. Um, I just decided to read it because I like John Steinbeck. And I would have to say, you know, reviewing it now, like saying here, I really enjoyed it. Um, there's a lot that uh, it doesn't cover that I feel that it needed to, but it couldn't do that because it's a short story. It's a novella. My apologies. But it's a, so in the novella format has its limits, I guess. Um, I do feel that because I also read *The Grapes of Wrath* this uh, this month, um, which I absolutely loved. Um, although um, there are a number of problems that I had with it, but uh, I do feel that *A Mice and Men* was sort of set dressing. Um, it was uh, John Steinbeck's way of feeling his way out towards um, *Grapes of Wrath*. Uh, that, that's not a bad thing. Um, both stories are equally great. It's just that the ideas that he presented in *A Mice and Men* he flushed out. And that's why uh, Grapes of Wrath is a masterpiece. Um, I also read Holes, which was the first video I reviewed for this channel, uh, first book I reviewed for this channel. So um, I'll put a link to that in the description for you to find and uh, you can check it out. I also, uh, again, I, I just mentioned Grapes of Wrath. I didn't review it for this channel. Um, that was just more for me. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I think it's it cemented the, the fact that John Steinbeck is one of the top tier authors, in my opinion, and one of my favorite. He might be my favorite in general, so that's uh, that's good. Um, I my only complaint is that uh, Tom Joe doesn't really seem like a character so much as that we, I don't get a feel for who he is. I get an idea of what he represents, and he seems more like an idea than an actual person. And that's not bad. Like like. Uh, John Steinbeck is trying to talk about socialism and injustices in, in the capitalist system, so maybe Tom Joe doesn't need to be an actual person. That's that's fine. Uh, I also talked about um, Around the World in 80 Days. 
I made a video specific to that um, where I talked about how I liked it, but not as much as, uh, um, no, sorry. Um, I read Journey to the Center of the Earth. That's my bad. Um, I didn't like it as much as Around the World in 80 Days, but I, 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 it's Jules Verne, so it did inspire curiosity. I also read Sideways Stories from Wayside School. I was going to do that for this channel, but um, that turned out to be just for me. I didn't have enough to say about it to make a, a full video. But um, it's hilarious. It was also by Lewis Sacker, who also made Holes. Um, so that it, it, he's, he's another one of the authors that I love because he just um, he, he knows how to make me laugh. He knows how to make me think. Um, I also read The Pearl, which I will talk about on Monday for June. And that's also the to be read for June. Um, a video, so a video is coming your way. That's also by Steinbeck. So again, can't say enough great things about Steinbeck. Um, uh, some short stories that I've also read is Mask of the Red Death. Um, I made a video about that. Uh, Dr. Heidegger's Experiment. That was the first short story Tuesday video. And Murder in the Rue Morgue, um, which I read just for fun. Um, and and I, didn't, I'm not, I don't intend to make a video about it. Um, I thought the, the twist was interesting. Um, but how Poe got there was a bit too scientific for my liking. It kind of made the short story seem a little bland in my opinion. Um, but I do recommend you go check it out because it's, uh, I do, I think it was one of the first detective stories to be made. Um, don't quote me on that, though. Um, and then I read a number of poems, uh, which you can find on my Poetry, uh, Poetry Thursday videos. Um, so um, that's my wrap-up. Uh, now on to the TV, to be read. Um, it's a bit in flux um, based on whether I can actually find the stories that I want or if I'm going to have to like, maneuver them around a bit. But um, there's five books, uh, five Mondays, so I'm going to do five books um, throughout the month. Uh, I was hoping to do Princess Diaries, uh, just because it's, you know, finding out that you're a, uh, a princess is a bit, you know, strange and unusual. So I thought it'd be very on brand. Um, it's also kind of inspired by Perks of Being a Book Flower. Um, on her channel, she was, um, she talked a lot about... Uh, uh, book shaming and how it was unnecessary and so that kind of like okay fine if I'm uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, about uh, young adult fiction on this channel um, if, if there's no shaming going to go on uh, so um, that's a little bit decided I live right next door to the library so um, whether or not the library opens or if I can get a uh, virtual copy of the book is uh, remains to be seen um, I, I'm definitely going to end up reading Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin, I believe is her name. Uh, that sounds really interesting. I haven't read it before. I don't know much about it, so it'd be uh, really pretty interesting to check out. I'm going to reread World War Z. We're in the middle of a pandemic. What's, be what's better to read than a book that um, uh, that is about a, uh, a pandemic that people fail to uh, address in time? Um, I feel like that'll be fun to check out on the channel. Um, I might read a Shakespearean play. Uh, Bits of Lit gave me some hassle about not reading Shakespeare, so I want to I want to I want to check out some some more of his plays and um, probably review one for the channel. Um, and then I want to reread Before I Fall. Um, it's along with Holes. It's one of the reasons I I, I created this channel is because I, I really love Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Um, so I want to end up talking about that a little bit. Um, um, that also means I have to uh, re review five short stories for this channel. Um, one of them is going to be Most Dangerous Game. Uh, I absolutely love that. Uh, what's more extraordinary than um, a man hunting another man on an island? Uh, it would be fun to talk about and explore the themes of that. Um, I'm, I'm not so certain about the others, but um, I still got to uh, figure them out. Uh, I figure it'll be fun to... Uh, Play it by ear there. I do want to make sure that I am exploring multicultural authors, um, not just American, white male, or even uh, just women authors. Um, I want to, if this is going to be around the weird, I would like it to be around the weird rather than just focusing on one specific subset of culture. Um, I'd like to find out what's weird in Japanese culture or what's unusual in Romanian culture, you know? Um, and then, uh, a po for Poetry Thursday, I'm going to review um, uh, you know, four different poems. I don't have the other three lined up just yet, um, but um, one of them is going to be My Bees and Allegory uh, by Helen Hunt Jackson. Um, 
and I've already read it. It's, it's a pretty silly poem, but um, it does have a strong meaning underneath it. So that's the wrap-up in the TBR right there. Um, if you have any suggestions for what I should read if, over the course of the next month, I'd be open to hearing them. Uh, uh, other than that, um, I hope I hope we all have a great time in June, and it's a lot better than May was. Um, and I hope I get a lot better at you know speaking on camera and uh, being distinct in my um, in my uh, analysis and my review of a book when uh, I when I talk about it. So yeah, other than that, uh, make sure you have a pleasant time in your weird travels, and you know don't don't fall down any uh, wells because um, that would be unfortunate. Bye.